But I want to ask you about uh, an entirely different issue. We're seeing some very different reporting from our media on China's anti-lockdown protesters mm -hmm. compared to how they characterise anti-lockdown protesters in, well, places like Australia and Canada and the UK. You've been outspoken about this double standard for some time. Uh, do you think the mainstream media in the West is uh, learning the error of its ways? Um, I doubt it. Uh, I was in Toronto this week speaking, among other things, at a monk debate about the mainstream media and its failures in Canada, uh, during, particularly during the trucker convoy earlier this year. So it was very moving to me, as I'm sure it was to you, Rita, to see Justin Trudeau um, mm. celebrating the right of Chinese uh, uh, people to protest against lockdowns in China. Uh, the same Justin Trudeau who did everything he could uh, to prevent protests in his own native Canada. Uh, I think we're seeing something similar in the press as we are with certain politicians. They say, what a wonderful thing it is for people to protest lockdowns in China, but don't you dare do it in Australia or Canada or Britain or America. Um, and the same thing with the media. It is it is a quite extraordinary double standard. You know, uh, 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 one thing for the Chinese, another for us. Uh, uh, freedom for the Chinese, but not for the Australians or Canadians. Doesn't seem to me to be a very sustainable uh, uh, line long term. But yes, the double standard is very clear right now. Oh, it doesn't do much for the credibility of the media because not only did they have no patience or support for the anti-lockdown protesters in the West, but they uh, call them Defamed basically them. Nazis. They were all bigots yes. and sexists and, and uh, uh, conspiracy Probably theorists. Oh, it was... A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably transphobes. Of course, again, naturally. Again married, nat certainly just hated women, all, all, all to a man and woman, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Douglas Murray, thank you so much for joining me tonight.